So the, this time we're going to talk about coming from the bi-level weaning. We, we'll talk about bi-level. We'll talk about the mode that's called bi-level. So this is the problem, professors. When you read the literature, unfortunately, people who write the literature, people who even review the literature, they don't know this mode. They don't know it. Even people who write uh, on it, I swear, they don't know the mode. Read it and, 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 and tell me. They use the terms bi-level and APRV interchangeably, right? Maybe I'm stickler, but, but, but it just completely, uh, uh, you know, like make you not understand the mode. Bi-level and APRV, unfortunately, they are the same button on a vent, right? Even here in this vent, it says APRV slash biphasic. That's the na name of the mode. Because there are really two modes here, but they have the same... Why they are the same button? Because they have the same set parameters. But they are completely different modes. I mean, not completely, but just like like the, 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 the night and day. It's almost like, I'll give you the analogy, is that if... Uh, imagine if you wa walk into the ICU and I'm giving you a report and just being a little uh, cocky, and I say, this patient has VQ mismatch. You look at me, what do you mean? Like, does he have shunt? Or does he have a dead space? Shunt is here, dead space is all the way to the opposite, and both of them are called, and everything in between is called VQ mismatch. So that's the same thing. If you talk about them as the same mode, you really talk about two different huge considerations for, for, uh, for the two modes. Basically, I consider them a completely two, two modes of ventilation, uh, completely. Why is that? So, why, what is the parameter that you go above a certain point and that changes the APRV to bi-level. Like when do you start moving from the realm of APRV into bi-level territory? The low time. The low time. Remember I said the maximum is 0.9 here? Mm -hmm. When you go one second or higher, that's considered bi-level. Right? Why am I, why, by the way, who came up with this number? Me. <laughs> because there's no number. And people are confused. And the residents are confused. And everybody's confused. So we have to like really make up some rules. If you go one second or higher, that's uh, why I chose this number, because it's more than enough. That's the normal ventilation. You know, one to one second, two to one second. Usually one second for ex exhalation is more than enough to exhale more than 80% of, uh, of your breath for most lungs. So I'm not gonna even measure, because we don't measure the, this ratio when we do by level. Because we're no, no, nobody's gonna get hurt with it. It's one second or more. You know, it's, 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 it's good, you know, it's going to allow the patient to go all the way, right? So that's why when we go one second or more, we are in the realms or, or, or the territory of, of, uh, of bi-level. That's important distinction because, because it just it, it, when you read the literature, you see some people saying, for example, APRV increases venous return. How do you think this mode increases venous return? Of course it doesn't. You know, there's so much time here that you have venous return. The venous return is abolished in this, you know, or, or very low. And this one is, a, uh, it doesn't increase the venous return. It reduces the venous. That's one of the side effects of this mode, right? But by level does increase the venous return. Although I don't believe in it, but if, if any one of them increases the venous return, it's going to be the by level. Because it's, it, you know, it's like a huge time here in the low time. That's venous return, venous return, and the siphoning effect going from up all the way down and all these things. It improves the venous return. Uh, so I don't believe that none of them increase the venous return, by the way. But if you are publishing something and saying one of them is going to increase the venous return, you have to be careful and say it's by level, not APRV, because people are just going to say, oh, this patient looks hypotensive. Let me put him on APRV to increase the venous return. Then the patient is dead. <laughs> he will die. <laughs> it's, cra it's crazy. So anyway, what's the other parameter? What's the other parameter that will have to be increased every time we raise the low time more than one second? The low pressure. The low pressure, yes. Because by raising the time, by widening the time to more than one second, the lung is going is gonna experience the, the low pressure. So we can't allow it to be five. This patient is still sick, right? So that's, that's the definition of bi-level, is it basically more than one second low time. That's my definition for it, you know, and I think it's, it makes it much more clear when we deal with patients, okay? So imagine the possibilities now. We're going back to the first patient we started with. When 
when you go to another hospital, you go to another hospital and you say, I want to use APRV, they're going to say no. Don't start with the APRV. They're going to freak out. The respiratory therapist, if they don't know it and you want to teach them, they will never do this. They will be so scared to do this ratio because it's really scary. Start with by level. I did that in another hospital. You start with by level. Everybody gets, every time I go there, they, <laughs> They, 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 they are got used to it, right? And then uh, suddenly I just increase the time, increase the time, increase the time, the, the high time, and shorten the low time, shorten the low time, and becomes APRV. <laughs> and then I tell them to measure the ratio. <laughs> but they're all already comfortable with the mode. So if you have somebody that has inverse ratio pressure control, inverse ratio pressure control, and his wave looks like this. Remember that patient we wrote? Do you know that I can make the same exact waveform on bi-level? Not APRV, right? On bi-level? I can make exactly the same waveform. Huh? As if there's the same mode. So bi-level is closer to it, but pressure control, by the way, than APRV. Anyway, so I can make the same wave. I can make it exactly look like this. Exactly the same dimensions, everything. By doing what? By translating the settings from here to here. Just you need to know the, the terms of the settings, that's all. And by the way, that's very important, and that's also in your app. All of these things in your app, except the true, true APRV, the, in your app you see something called routine by level troubleshooting, right? And it has two pages of things to do for routine by level. Anyway, so you're gonna be doing this a lot uh, if you're transferring a patient from here to another hospital. Sometimes the ambulances, we don't have bi-level. By the way, all the ambulances here bought machines that do bi-level because we're doing bi-level, so they don't, they don't do, tell us anything. But uh, sometimes they come and say, no, we, we don't have the machine uh, event that will do bi-level. Can you please put them on pressure control? So you have to know how to go from bi-level to pressure control and from pressure control to bi-level. When somebody comes from the ER, for example, on pressure control, how do you switch it to bi-level in an equivalent setting? So I'll give you the, 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 the settings here. Inspiratory pressure of 20. PEEP. 15. I to E ratio, 2 to 1. Respiratory rate, 20. FIO2, 100%. What are the settings on by level that you're going to put the patient on to be equivalent? Low time, pressure support, and FIO2. Okay. The inspiratory stays at the high pressure, right? And PEEP stays at the low pressure? What, what, say it again? I think the inspiratory pressure will stay high, will become high pressure, peak will become low pressure. But then high you pressure have to change plus the peak. Okay. Plus the peak. Mm -hmm. So it depends on the term. So the peak is from here to here, that's peak. Mm -hmm. And the inspiratory pressure is from here to here, it doesn't reach the zero. Gotcha. Here, the low pressure is here and the high pressure from here all the way to zero. Right? That's yeah. the trick. That's the small trick. 35. Right? So let's start from the beginning. Let's make it easy. Right? And th this is. This is 100%, right? Mm -hmm. So we're going to do the 100%. This one, zero. It's always zero, right? So we got the, these two. The first thing that you, after that, is the low pressure because it's by level, so the low pressure is the peep. So the low pressure is equivalent to the peep. That's a very easy one to do. So the three easy ones you're going to get just from looking. And then, of course, like Professor Darlene said, this one goes from here to here, so the high pressure is equal to IP and the peep, so that's 35. Now, how are we going to resolve this? They're taking twenty breaths yeah. in a minute. Yeah. Then essentially they're taking four breaths. Okay. It should be like four seconds per breath, like the time. Isn't that correct? Very frustrated that you math. Math, professor. Math. You should be invested in math. <laughs> <laughs> He's not <laughs> 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 Sixty divided by twenty is four. I mean, it's three. Three. <laughs> <laughs> it's been a long night. So <laughs> two seconds. Two seconds. And one, one second. second. Okay. Oh, shoot. All right, that's it. Right, I was so on the right track. You're on the right track. You're on the right track. You're on the right track. I just need the calculation. That's all. You need the calculator, calculator. maybe. That's all. Yeah. <laughs> Without the calculator, we're like not mindless. <laughs> anyway, so two seconds, one second. So imagine the possibilities here. I can actually give you the same exact mode of ventilation on bi level with the advantage of 